Get those Cybermen out. Welcome back guys, Sam from the Cybermen here. Today we have a best of one battle. It is myself playing the new Nappa deck versus Shay playing King Piccolo. Uh, Nappa is so much fun. I'm still trying to crack the formula, so this is probably not my final build. I will do a another deck profile once I've figured it out. But um, it's a lot of fun and I hope you enjoy this. Forgot the other day to say thanks to Bandai for sending me one of these uh, with the Cybermen art on it. They know that we can't get these here in Australia, in America, and in Europe they have these in department stores like Target and things like that, but we don't get blister packs here. So they sent me one of these with this artwork very kindly for my collection. I'm very thankful for that, so thank you Bandai for that. Enjoy this guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so we got myself on the left with Nappa and the Cybermen versus Shea, Piccolo, King Piccolo on the right. Um, I was kind of nervous going into this game. This was the final game of the tournament, I think. Um, I had never played against... I had never won against Shay's King Piccolo before. We'd only played a couple of times, but... There's the Heroine's Lineage SCR in my deck. So, it's a very um, tense match here. He's very good at playing King Piccolo. So, charging one... Nappa is playing a Cyberman from the deck. And I really stuffed this up. I should not have attacked. Um, Nappa doesn't need to attack to draw. He doesn't draw, but he plays a card. So I really was trying to remember what King Piccolo did. And I was thinking, I thought he couldn't flip a uh, combo with life unless he um, had them face up. So I was like, oh, I'll attack. But I forgot about this. So that kills my Cybermen, I think. So I really shouldn't have attacked there. Um, now I've got two of the Yamcha Unisons in my hand. I really, this tournament, I really didn't feel the Yamcha Unison. I felt like it just wasn't amazing, to be honest. Um, but I guess it just depends on my opponents. I didn't have that many people who played a lot of battle cards. Yamcha Unison is only good when your opponent plays lots of battle cards that don't have barrier. So, here we go, Yamcha coming in for one, but here, because I had two in hand and I didn't have anything else to use my energy for, I didn't have any arrival or anything, I decided to just play it because I knew that Shay would attack into it, um, just to kind of stop some damage. King Piccolo is very aggressive, so I figured I need some protection. In a way, you know, it's like having an agate. Especially if you have a one energy unison. Uh, your opponent, especially that one that I have. The problem with the Yamcha is it's 9k. I feel like it didn't need to be 9k. I mean, it could even be a 2 cost 15k. Or 9k with some sort of protection. Like the other one drops have protection built in. This just has nothing. It just dies. Which is annoying as hell. I feel like whenever there's a deck I'm really excited for, it happened with Raditz as well. Um, they just have some dumb shit they put into it. Now, this one's much better than Raditz, I have to be fair. But, just the Raditz never doesn't draw for any reason. This guy also doesn't draw. There's no plus on him, but it doesn't matter too much because you're playing so much from deck, you don't need to use your hand as much. Uh, but then there's that unison that's just, just annoying. I wish... It wasn't so shit. I, there's a much better... I think playing like the Slug 2-drop Unison is much better for mid-range in this deck. But I'm still going to try and make Yamcha work. So there is two attacks blocked with Yamcha. Looks like he's got the SCR in hand. The... Boob boob, big boob lady. Charging a Cyberman. So I when I first saw this set, I was so excited obviously for this deck. 
but I I thought the Nappa the what would be probably the boss monster of this deck the Nappa um, red green SR I was unsure about I just really hate tapping four I need to get over that because you know Abuni's been a thing for a while now very easily worth the four cost um, and this Nappa is actually really good uh, tapping for, I mean, there's obviously other options out there like the Gohan Alliance, which is also awesome for four energy, but it has, the Nappa has Deflect, so against this deck it's not too bad, uh, against non-green decks it's pretty good, um, and you get to KO three of your opponent's battle cards, assuming you have one drops, up to six one drops in your drop and or battle area, which is easy to get by turn 4 with your leader skill. Playing another Yamcha. I've left one open for what I assume is an arrival, otherwise I would have tapped 2 for that. Got the green Cybermen on board to block an attack, but that Yamcha will probably die again. It just feels, yeah, it feels way too easy to remove. So, King Piccolo is playing the Piccolo Junior Unison and then plus him one to draw. Attacking the Unison. I feel like I need to block this because he's just going to combo with that card in energy probably. And I didn't. Oh god. Piccolo Awakening because he's at two life face up. Going to seven life now. I was, yeah, it's unfortunate that the Unison is such a shit. <laughs> Sorry, I've said that a few times. That's where I should have blocked. But it wouldn't have really made a difference, to be fair, because he would have just attacked again. I must have blocked it, I don't know. Later. So these drums are barrier blockers as well. I wonder what I'm saying. It seems like such an intense conversation. Um, so, it just depends if I get greedy or not. I really should arrival now. Yeah, okay, I am. Because I may want to, you know, wait for the 
symbol to a rival, but he probably wouldn't attack with it. And it would waste my energy. So I think if I hadn't arrived yet, he wouldn't have attacked with that. Shay's not done. He knows I've got the energy open for arrival there. Something that is decent, um, King Piccolo does play with probably a small-ish hand size compared to some other decks at the moment, just because he's using his energy a lot to combo. Um, so it's not too bad for me because I have a small hand size too. There's the negate Piccolo Jr. Untap draw one to awaken. Okay, so I should have untapped and played two Cybermen there. I apologize. I don't know how I missed that. Actually, it would have been way better to play two Cybermen because it would have got me um, Alliance. Anyway. Seven with the leader to find a Nappa or Vegeta and add to hand. And if I add a card to hand, I have to drop a card. Because there's no plus with this leader, same as Raditz. But you do get the plus on board. So I'm attacking the Unison and he's burning one damage. I think King Piccolo needs that unison um, greatly. I think he could have read it, uh, used Yamcha to kill that Cyberman, and I wouldn't have had an option for Alliance, but what can you do? cards I need for Nappa. Topo coming in. I do run Violent Rays as well as Topo. Um, there are just times when I've, I would love Topo, like it this is a perfect example because the whole deck is 15k pretty much, so Violent Rays doesn't do that much. Whereas Topo means none of those can attack unless you want to drop cards. It's very... It works a lot better in this situation. Two energy is steep though. Counterplay. This is something again I'm probably going to take out because the Unison never stays on board long enough for me to use it. I don't even, yeah, the Yamcha Counterplay is pretty crap as well, to be fair. Finding the Nappa Super Combo with the Leader skill. Really nice to be able to search for Super Combos. Okay. 
So just 20k into the drum. Hugo Jr. is such a nice draw engine for this deck as well. Is getting rid of the Piccolo Jr. blocker. That negate can't be played for free either because he um, because of the what am I saying? The negate can't be played for free because it needs a unison in play. So there's Kai big boobies out on the field. That means next turn I'm losing all my cards. Um, and I already dropped one Piccolo Jr. in the drop area for the leader skill, so this is two. I think I only had three in the deck at this time. So it's probably not that smart to get it both out because Now they're probably gone after she uses his Kai skill. extra card lets me drop a card then play a sideman from deck um, and then I use the Yamcha skill which minus one KOs a Cyberman, Cyberman then KOs a battle card and then the Yamcha's auto plays the Cyberman again. So just 25 double strike. I know that he's going to wipe my board so there's no point in having anything like that. I might as well cover with it. That's in, that should be in the drop area. Obviously, I <clears throat> I don't know why. Anyway, that Cyberman's supposed to be in the drop, just so you know, because I comboed with it. Um, but it is going to just die, I'm sure, if Shay activates his Kai here. Piccolo on 5 energy, piano for 1, Forty k swing to leader, oh, I always find it really, it's very risky uh, attacking with I mean, against this deck, there's not much I could do to stop it without energy. With energy, it's possible. Um, because you could Wolf Fang Fist and then use unexpected casualties to KO it, which would be pretty cool. That would only take one energy. Kai is warping my board and the unison, I just forgot for a sec. Mm -hmm. 
there is the new sparking negate um, so it's not it's just a two cost negate but when you have five or less life you can take a life instead of paying the energy cost uh, it negates the attack and plays a cyberman token as a blocker There's a blocker there. Uh, it's very interesting because Shay's deck has this card and the other King Piccolo card that both can't be blocked. You're not supposed to pay free, free for that. I mean, it's supposed to be free if you have a unison in play. But um, I have happened to have another one of these testing the opposition. I only had one token, so I'm, I have one life now, I think. Yeah, down to one life, but I was probably dead if I didn't block that. I do have some decent combo power in hand. Okay, cheeky. And he happened to hit the drum off light energy, uh, off deck. So I knew there was no drum there, so I wasn't worried about not blocking because I thought he couldn't kill it, the blocker. But then drum, when it gets played, KO's, uh, minus is five off a card, I think, so it would get rid of the blocker. <clears throat> but he's only a 4k, so this is currently 9k. 14. I just realized I probably didn't actually have to attack there. I mean, didn't have to combo. Anyway, I comboed away the blocker because it was going to die anyway. Attacking with 15k. I think he's just left it at 15 and I'm choosing what to combo here. Yeah. Taking with another 15k. Two super combos, stopping that attack. And I was thinking if he has an overrealm, then I am probably done. But he does not. So that Nappa that I put in energy there, I've taken that out of the deck. Two red is just too much of a feels bad. <clears throat> um, so Nappa is a 20k double strike dual attack and I'm just going to check my drop. Three, four, five, six. So exactly six one drops, that's good. That means he becomes a 30k KO's three battle cards. Um, and Piano comes back in for flipping a life over, but I think... Oh yeah, he did choose that. But it's skills negated for the turn. So that is a 30k double strike. <coughs> Shay just thinking about whether he should use his leader skill to try and combo, I believe. He decided to take it. Okay. 
Probably should have arrived or bef battle before would have been optimal to KO that piano again. Make sure there's no other power. There's no cards in hand or cards on board, and that is game. Well, that was fun. I really enjoy this Cyberman deck. I definitely don't think it's tier one or anything, but it is a lot of fun. Um, and if you play it with less Cyberman stuff in it than I do, it can be very competitive with um, a lot of Alliance and Arrival stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let us know what you want to see coming up. Cheers.